Hello everyone, we have reached to a very exciting section of our syllabus, Newton's Law of Motion. There were three sets of laws given by Newton and they form the basis of the classical mechanics of present time. So we're going to start one by one, we'll start with the Newton's first law of motion, but before that, in order to understand Newton's first law of motion better, we'll start with something, <coughs> two small definitions. The first one would be inertia. Inertia is a, the resistance of any physical object to any change in its state of motion or rest. It is a tendency of objects to remain at rest if it is already at rest or to keep moving in a straight line at constant velocity. Basically, inertia is the resistance to the change of its state. If it is, if it is at rest, it will try and be at rest. If it is in motion, it will try and be in motion. The definition of inertia was given by Newton himself in his book Principia Mathematica in which he introduced Newton's first law of motion. So I'm going to give you the definition which Newton gave. He said that inertia is a power Okay, so this is the definition given by Newton. Inertia is a power of resisting by which every body endeavors to preserve its, its present state, whether it is of rest or of motion, moving uniformly forward in a straight line. So the crux of it is body try and maintain its present state. If, if it is at rest, it will try, it will endeavor to preserve its state of rest. If it is in motion, it will endeavor to preserve its state of motion. Okay, now, for example, there's a heavy block kept on a flow. Now, if it is, it, it is at rest, now, to in, make this body come in motion, we have to apply certain force. And with that force will come certain resistance from this body for motion. If it's a heavier body, we have to apply more amount of force. If it's a lighter body, we have to apply less amount of force. But we do have to apply a force because it resists its state of rest. Similarly, if this heavy piece of block is coming with certain velocity, then to stop this block, again, we have to apply certain amount of force because this block will try and pres preserve its state of motion. It will not come to rest easily. We have to do so, we have to endeavor to bring this block at rest and this block will endeavor to maintain its state of motion. So this is what inertia is. Inertia is very closely related to mass, although inertia is not same as mass. A block of heavier, a heavy block of higher mass will have higher inertia compared to a block of lesser mass. Because if both of them are at rest, then this block requires more amount of energy from our side to bring it in motion. 
compared to this one. So this has more inertia, this has more resistance to come in motion. And once it has come in motion, then it has more resistance to stop. It has more resistance to, it, it has more inertia to be in the state of motion. So a heavier block will have higher inertia. Similarly, suppose there's an empty bucket hang hanging like this and there's a bucket full of sand. Then to bring the lighter bucket in swing, it will require less endeavor from our side. But to swing this one, it will require a lot more amount of energy compared to this. So this has a higher mass. So to bring this one in motion, it will be a lot more difficult than this one. And once it is swinging, then to stop this bucket, it will be again requiring more endeavor from our side to stop this one. So a heavier body has higher inertia. It has higher resistance to its change in state. If it is at rest, it will have higher resistance to come in motion. If it is moving already, it will have higher resistance to be stopped. So that's it.